what I'm doing is developing a gas separation membrane with zeolitic and metazolate frameworks incorporated into them. And that means that I'm taking a polymer that's already selected for different sized gases and putting a pore, uh, a, a crystal with a very selective pore in there so that they can separate gases on the molecular level uh, by their size. So normally we wouldn't be able to separate hydrogen from carbon dioxide unless we cool it down to sub-zero temperatures and distill it like alcohol. But now we would be able to simply pass it through or against this membrane and any hydrogen molecules can pass through while carbon dioxide is excluded. Yes. Right now it's a lot of energy to cool these gases down to sub-zero temperatures and keep them there while trying to separate them. But this would not uh, require the energy that it requires and it'd be a permanent fixture that could last for at least a year. So it would decrease the cost of generating hydrogen and we could have it for widespread use in cars. It, it's the magic of chemistry that I love. Uh, that, that's really what it is, is I can make a membrane, anyone can make a membrane, they can dissolve polymers in solvents and then it, it's pretty fun goo, but what I do with the goo and the tests that I run on it and the fact that I've made this happen is really what makes it worthwhile to me. I want to continue doing research. I want to continue making things that help people and developing my ideas. And to do that, I'm going to need a graduate school degree. So I'm going to be in school for a little while, but uh, it should result in me doing what I love.